Hi, my name is Alan Tao and I help students master AP Physics 1. Today I want to dig into a student question about should I take AP Physics 1 or AP Physics C and what, kind of what's the difference. So AP Physics 1, AP Physics C mechanics are actually very, very similar courses. They both cover primarily the same topics. There's a few minor differences in AP Physics C, but the biggest difference is you have to know calculus for AP Physics C. Okay, now AP Physics C, I would say just the, in terms of level of difficulty, the biggest part that's more difficult about AP Physics C is just the higher level of math. Most of the concepts that are difficult in AP Physics C are actually equally difficult in AP Physics 1. It's not the math part, it's the physics part. Other than just the math level of difficulty, I actually think the two exams are pretty comparable. Besides the difficulty in math, which one is sort of better for you to take? Generally speaking, AP Physics C is going to lend itself to a lot more college credit in, at the university level. Most programs that require physics are going to require it at a calculus level. So if you want to do engineering, you're, you're not going to get any credit for AP Physics 1, unfortunately. If you're doing computer science, you might, but it's more likely that you would get credit for AP Physics C as opposed to AP Physics 1. That's not to say you shouldn't take AP Physics 1. If you have a strong interest in STEM fields, I actually do think taking AP Physics 1 is nice to take when you ha if you don't have that calculus background. I think you will largely learn the same things between AP Physics 1 versus AP Physics C. It's just you may not get that college credit. The last thing I would say in terms of difficulty of the AP exam, AP Physics C exam is a more difficult exam overall. The, the questions are harder, you're expected to know more, you're expected to do more advanced math. However, the curve, so to speak, or the scaling is easier, more generous for AP Physics C, which is why you might find more people getting fives on the AP Physics C exam. It's not because it's an easier exam. I would say it's an easier exam to get a five in, okay? And that's because the threshold to get a five is lower for AP Physics C as opposed to AP Physics 1. As a rough example, AP Physics 1, you may need 70 to 75% of the points to get a 5, whereas an AP Physics C, sometimes even 55 or 60% of the points is enough to get a 5. So just by having the scale a little bit lower makes it easier to achieve a 5 in AP Physics C. Although the questions on the multiple choice and the free response are definitely more difficult than the AP Physics 1 questions. I hope that was helpful. Drop a comment if you have any other questions between AP Physics 1 and AP Physics C.